I might have missed at episode four, the show about technological ignorance and pop culture brilliance. I'm Joe Mancini. And I'm Jason Lang. And we're uh, doing it again, Joe. Doing it again. <laughs> what are we drinking today? A little Golden Road Wolf Pup IPA. Wolf Pup. I love that name. Wolf Pup. This shit's strong. Well. <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> it's Cheers. not bad. It's not bad. We didn't uh we didn't drink enough last night, so we thought we'd do more today. A little too much last night. <laughs> <laughs> Went hard. Ah. Happy Earth Day, Joe. Happy Earth Day. Well, we're at my place again, Joe. Yeah. Oh, does that mean I'm going first? Gotta go first, dude. Okay. What do you think? Uh Jason, have you ever been to a poetry brothel? No. I well, what? <laughs> I have. Okay. Recently. And it is, it's like they sexualize poetry. Really? So the whole point is like, they have these poets there and they play these roles. Like one guy's like a street urchin and one guy's like a suave. Are they like beat poets? It's kind of, be, it's be, very beatish. Okay. And then one girl's a madam of the brothel and she's pimping out these poets. <laughs> so you can pay to have poetry read to you and it's like you go in back in a private room they're they make it you know they're trying to imitate prostitution kind of with words with words because <laughs> they think like that's the most intimate thing there is is poetry oh you man a poem um it was as awkward you went as to this you recently went to this i recently went to this at el cid okay um they had you're, have you been to a burlesque show ever? I have been to a burlesque show, yes. I was never a fan. This one was actually pretty hot. Because usually you get some like chunky women up there. You yeah. Know? But this one was good. This chick was like dripping wax on her. Hot so, wax? Yeah. Hot wax. And then they'd go from that back to poetry. This is Joe that's never been to a strip club. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I didn't want to bring up strip club again, but... <laughs> this is a good time, though. Burlesque and candle wax? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Isn't it crazy? That might be better than a strip club. <laughs> it was close. It was damn close. Wow. But, man, is it cringy. It is like... I don't know. I know other people are different, but having poetry read to you on a stage, like, intimately... Is it it's like a like, stool or is it like one person sitting there? Yeah. Oh, that's it's weird. Like, like an or open standing. mic or an open mic kind of thing? Oh, very open mic-ish. I mean, they have a whole program. Yeah. But the people's characters they're playing, it's just funky, man. It was so weird. And you know what else it was? Expensive. <laughs> <laughs> like, All right. I, I was just like, what? what are we paying for? It was for my friend's birthday. So, you know, I... Had, I was pretending to have a good time. Sure, sure. I mean, it was a fine time. I'm not saying it was a bad time. It was just not, not at my alley. Oh man, not in my wheelhouse. <laughs> <laughs> One chick had a puppet. And she was talking to us. <laughs> she wouldn't let you look at her. You had to look at the puppet and talk to the puppet. Whoa. And the puppet was the master or something, and the lady was like the puppet's sex slave. So the puppet would be like, "Don't look at my slave. Look at me." And it was kind of. It was just like a fucking. Holy Jim shit. Henson, weird puppet. Man. I don't. Wow, that's weird. It was crazy. I don't know about this. It's <laughs> you know, it's it's L.A. It's L.A. Right? Wow. Um, let me see if I can show you some weird pictures from it, without being too NSFW. Meet the cast. Oh, dude. Yeah. She looks like a train wreck. <laughs> <laughs> looks like a train wreck. Is she crying <laughs> mascara? I think so, man. Oh man. You know so many people have lived weird lives. Well, you know, to each their own. To each their own, I know, I know. Everyone, different strokes, as they say, right? Right. Let's see some photos. You ready? Different strokes. Yeah, look at that. Whoa. This was one, I think this was one of them. Okay. She was hot. I'm interested in that. Um, Not so much the third one, though, with the dog collar or whatever has gone on Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Here. This did not happen at ours. Okay. Good Lord. Wow. That actually is kind of interesting. Oh, that's in Portland. See, leave it to Portland to make it weirder than L.A., you know? All right, Joe. So that was me. That's my cult. I did a cultured event. Yeah. <laughs> that's pretty cultured for the week. Yeah. I'd say. I listen to poetry. You know, <laughs> how long are we going to leave poetry with its art title? I feel like at some point you, we need to take the art badge off of poetry because 
between slam poetry and this kind of shit. Yeah, it creates like, a whole different world. It's falling down. The like we got movies, TV, books, music up here, and poetry's kind of just like can't hang on to its status. <laughs> it just gets worse and worse. <laughs> And then they're trying to get people's attention, too, so they yeah. make it as weird as possible. Right. And if you want to be poor, man, be a poet. I don't know how these people do it. <laughs> or be in TV. Or be in TV, I guess. <laughs> Because we're loaded, right? We're yeah, just loaded. exactly. <laughs> just living it up. Anyway, man, that was my... Living the dream, Joe. That was my story. All right, should I do my uh, pop culture? Yeah, what's going on with... What's... What's going on in the world? Well, I did culture? read this this week. Uh, Snapchat has doubled in 2009. We're talking about Snapchat, the app, as far as the stock goes. But it's poised to fall. Ooh. Not good for... <laughs> I'm... I'm not really I'm a snapper. Some... I mean, I don't, you know... Me either. I actually think it's funny that they're going to fail. <laughs> well, listen to this, dude. Uh, in... In any indication, the camera company that went from market darling to a goat is once again capturing investor hearts. After losing over 60% of their value in 2018, shares have soared to about 110% so far this year. So it has an increase of 110%. So it's like a longer fall? The, yes. The higher they go, the longer they but, fall? <laughs> This article is basically saying between 2019 and 2023, e-marketers suspect Snap will only add 600,000 new users. So they're not getting any new users. Right. They have their core audience that people will use it all the time. Mm -hmm. Probably because of filters and that stupid dog right. filter. Yeah. <laughs> well, they're stuck in a weird spot because new kids aren't gonna they're gonna be like hey there's new shit we're not into this right and then we're not changing our ways plus like, <laughs> this, this article also talks about you know facebook and instagram kind of both adopted that technology too that's true that's true stories so, so what does snap really have that those aren't doing too you know what i mean they've got to start making original content i think they are actually yeah i've seen a few jobs that i've applied for to work for them <laughs> <laughs> yeah so we'll see you know it's I was trying to find some other stats here. Yeah. I had. Uh, but it was talking about, you know... Oh, last October, the industry analysts have been predicting better than 6% 6 growth last year, but they're now forecasting that social the social camera site will lose over 2 million users uh, before growth flatlines in 2020. So they're saying it's going to peak this year and then... No one's going to be using it. And then they're going to be losing more than they gain? Yes. Oh, man. Because, look, it's essentially remaining maintenance mode with about 78 million monthly users. Okay. So the salt in the, in the wound is that e-marketers predict Facebook will add almost 19 million users during that same time. Jeez, how's there still people that... Who's still not on Facebook? I know. <laughs> and Facebook's not doing too hot either, right? They're not it's doing too hot either, early, but, I mean, but like they're, no they're, st they're still see seeing an increase versus the world. People would sign up for Facebook. Right. So, versus them, not, you know. Which I find funny because Facebook is more, seems... There is more f to Facebook, for sure, for, you know, an application or a profile. You can put more of a bio about yourself in there. Right. And snap. You know. But it seems like kids aren't using it now either. But as of today, it's Even only eleven dollars a share, Joe. <laughs> well, it's not a share. I'm gonna. Buy. <laughs> I don't trust it. Yeah. So they may have peaked, man. I don't really use Snap too much. Like one or two people might send me a text, but I tried it once. I, I was talking to your girlfriend yesterday, and she loves it though because it creates a mm -hmm. car cartoon with your Bitmoji. Right. And then I tried to do it on my phone. I'm like, nah, it's not working. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> it's silly, man. It's yeah. really for women, I think, but for the most part. Well, women and kids, I think. This women also was kids. talking about um, how, you know, teens, it's like teen participation. Teens abandoned Facebook in droves as older adults took over the platform. Well, arguably, that's the cause of the teen participation in Snapchat. Surveys on teens found that 6% 6 of teens use Facebook compared to the 22% mm -hmm. that, that's been doing that six months ago on Snapchat. So. Okay. 
Okay. It's more teen friendly. Snap, I think, and kids. Yeah, for sure. For you know, sure. I think probably because of the filters. And I know I've seen some of my friends' kids; they love it when mm -hmm. they turn it on. They're like, "Oh, let's do the dog together." The filters are their big. Their only thing, yeah, man. Yeah, do, you know. This is how if the Titanic were to sink again today, <laughs> they instead of saying women and kids, they'd just be like all Snapchat users, all filters get in these gone, get them gone, <laughs> <laughs> all Snap users. <laughs> it's, it's a shorthand for women and kids, I guess. Yeah. That's crazy that they're... It's I, honestly, interesting, man. But I thought they'd be around for a lot, much longer. They're in Venice. They're in California here. Maybe they'll pivot, do something they else. They pivot and do something else. If they have programming, it could change the company for sure. But Right. It'd be interesting, you know? But this, you know, site says it's not looking good for them. I, don't, I used it for like a, a week, maybe. Yeah, it's like a fad, you know? Like anything. And it's weird because this is the new content creation is shit like this. Because you could you do know? it right on your phone, right? Yeah. yeah. And so I kind of feel behind as a content creator that I like to do stuff like this. But yeah. come on, how many temporary dumb stories can you tell with <laughs> fucking dog filters? <laughs> Two. Yeah, right. <laughs> Two. Literally, like, yeah. I don't think it, you know. So look at this though. If if the e market is right that Snap will lose users, it could jeopardize the cloud computing contracts it was recently forced to renegotiate with. That's interesting. Who? Yeah. Uh, call, uh, this guy Adam Levine. Snap may use a, uh, an uncertain financial future if it's continuously locked in the expensive contracts that promise growth that never comes. Which you know. Hmm. That's kind of like an investor thing. If they're going to say, oh, we're still doing it. Right. But they're like, who's going to it? No exactly. one's signing up. Yeah. People have seen the fad and they're like, all right, I'm done. Mm -hmm. What else can you give me? I wonder who they store their data with. Yeah, that's interesting. They said cloud? Their cloud storage? Their cloud storage, yeah. The death knell for the app. Ooh. The <laughs> man. Well, you know. They're just not getting any users anymore. They've tried games, yeah. it says. Yeah. They're taking the wrong cues, you know? I there's guess with Android update. Snap or Originals, that's what I was talking Where, about. Where, right here? Uh, oh, yeah. There's, short form. They're trying the to Snap make. games and new fort from Snap Originals. There's not much incentive for users to come back. Yeah. I'm really surprised. I really thought... It's, it was really here today, gone tomorrow, because I feel like a few months ago this was still big. Yeah. You know? Yeah. It changes fast, man. It changes really fast. Though Snap currently remains their favorite, Instagram is the one they cite as the social media platform they use the most. I'm not surprised. Yeah. Instagram is... It's, it's the same formula. Yeah. Like, they're doing the same exact thing. Right. And Instagram hasn't even faltered. It's just... Being Not consistent better. and yeah. better, right? And there's different options. You can post like, you know, your videos now. Videos. IGTV. Yeah. Can't wait till that picks up. Yeah. Uh, what's going on in my world of tech? Yeah, you got any tech? Any tech, Joe? I do have some tech. You know what the big? You know what's going on in my world of tech? <laughs> Is it about uploading the show? <laughs> yeah, partially. <laughs> okay, so last week, you know, our episode last week, it's been a bitch getting this thing out. Correctly. Correctly. It's been out. <laughs> it's been out in the world. It's we had did, to come we home. Did, we did get on SoundCloud. Okay. Like. Yeah. That was fine. Even then, I think I had to re-upload or something. Okay. Something happened. But um, you know what's responsible for every fuck up that happens, not only with my show, but everything in my life? <laughs> Data storage and more specifically, iCloud. Fix the fucking iCloud. <laughs> what is going on? What is the cloud, Joe? <laughs> First of all, what is the cloud? I couldn't tell you. I have no idea. All I know is I try to play a song on iTunes and it can't find it. Why? Because my computer is just taking its own initiative to, oh, you know what? Are We're you, sending this song to the cloud. But you own it. You, oh, you bought the song. I bought the song. Like you have it. I own it. You know what? We're, you don't need this right now. <laughs> You can do this at your... Do you have to be at home on your Wi-Fi for you to access it? You can't be, like, driving in your car or out. Oh, it's not... Even at home, it's still... Not finding it. Because it, sen it sends it away. 
So then you're like, where is it? Yeah. So then <laughs> iTunes is like, we can't find the song. It's like, like Willy Wonka. He's up there in a million pieces. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that kind of is what pretty much. That's like a that's a <laughs> analogy of this. Yeah, um, and it did that on the fucking show. One picture. I'm doing the export. Yeah. I had a picture on there. Next minute, the export's ruined. Okay, why? We couldn't find this picture. I'm like, well, that's funny because the picture's here on my desktop. Oh, and then I see a picture of a cloud with an arrow <laughs> pointing up, and you can't find it. Saying, we sent this picture to the cloud in the last five minutes. Yeah. Because we decided, you know what? You're not using it. You're not using it. It's been five minutes. What's going on with the iCloud? Does anyone understand the iCloud? If you do, please tell me. Please comment and say, Joe, you're retarded. <laughs> Here's how the iCloud works. Here's how the iCloud works. Here's what you're doing wrong. Tell me it's user error because I don't think it is. I don't think it is. I've run into that too. Just in my iTunes, just even trying to play a song sometimes. I'm like, I know I purchased this. I yeah. have it. But then even like your iTunes queue gets... Messed up too? Mm hmm. Like, why is there certain songs on there or it's always the same ones? Like, I'm trying to yeah. shuffle all of my music, which is a lot usually, but. Oh, it, it's iTunes. always the same. That's a whole other thing. But that's in the cloud too. All that stuff's it's, in the cloud. Yeah. But iTunes is a fuck up on its own. Yeah. Even without the cloud fucking it up again. <laughs> it's like <laughs> twice the fuck up. Yeah, man. I don't know. Well, that's so why your we use drives. Is, is about the cloud too, right? Oh yeah. yeah so. so I just prefer to use a hard drive. I can't. I don't know, man. I don't get the cloud thing. So my article is about uh, Apple's cloud business is hugely dependent on Amazon. Oh. So this is like pretty new news as of today. When there are too many files for Apple to handle, it turns to putting your data on another company's cloud, Amazon. It says the iPhone maker pays 30 million a month to use Amazon Web Services. Wow. So Apple's future, let me just get the article started. Apple's future beyond the iPhone increasingly involves software services ranging from Apple Music and iCloud to its new TV Plus video offering, uh, as well as News Plus magazine subscription. Yet a big factor in helping those cloud-based services operate across its nearly 1.5 billion active devices simultaneously is the company's ongoing contract with Amazon, specifically Amazon's cloud computing division. So Amazon has so much going on now, is what I've gathered from this, that... They need the space? They need the space. And they're, what, renting it or buying it? Wow. What would that be? It would be like a rental, probably. I guess so. They're renting storage space. They're renting space. storage space for $30 million. Dollars. <laughs> $30 million a month. Holy shit. CNBC reports that Apple has not publicly said it relies on Amazon Web Services for more than iCloud. But even still, an expenditure of more than $360 million a year means Apple is deeply reliant on AWS to operate core parts of its business. Yeah, that's $360 million a year. Yeah, that. exactly. What if that goes down? <laughs> I know. And then it's like, even though doing so means working with a soon-to-be rival in online video and current competitor in areas like AI Ooh. and streaming music. So yeah, they're going to be competing. I mean, Amazon already has its video service Would they, they give them a deal? <laughs> or they shut them off. With, or they you, shut off your cloud? Are you cut off? Are they cutting like off? Like you, yeah. like you shut... Oh, you don't have that picture now. Yeah. And then you get frustrated. Is it going to get worse? And then they're going to fight. <laughs> like, give me my damn... Apple's going to feel how we feel with iCloud. Like yeah. you were just saying. Yeah, just like... They're going to be like, as frustrated. They're going to understand the frustration. Maybe bigger. Maybe bigger frustration. There's a lot more money at stake than just one little video. And just one video, that's or true. Or one song. Oh, you know what's interesting about this? A year ago, Apple confir confirmed it now uses Google Cloud for iCloud services. So they're double dipping with Apple. Amazon and Google. Oh, to see which one <laughs> does better, maybe. That's weird, man. <laughs> That's some Silicon Valley shit. Yeah. Like, did you ever watch that show with Pied Piper and then uh -huh. they put the server on like the fridge? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> this is this stuff. It's it's too big, man. It's scary. It's too big and it's too nebulous. It's like. Uh, it's it's so many parts that come back to one person one company yeah people working in conjunction you know that's why all this like but then there's the mystery of like i don't really know what it does that the mystery is the fucking weirdest part to and me. no one knows when ford was huge 
No one was like, how are they making those cards? Right. <laughs> <laughs> That's a mystery. We don't get how it. How do they make them? Yeah. <laughs> but they all knew. Yeah. It's not a physical thing. It's like yeah, atmosphere and ones and zeros. Yeah. Kind of scary, dude. That's my big... Well, my, that's my, my big uh, kisser for today. My uh, tech article was Apple related too. Oh, what's going on? Apple is opening up its world of iPhone recycling. Finally, <laughs> who knows what to do with your phone when you? No done? one does. Usually, I mean, how many generations have they had? They've had since the fifteen. There's fifteen iPhone models since 2012. It's just since two, that's crazy. That this 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 new machine that they've created in Austin. Uh, it's called Daisy. Daisy is a robot that is is able to deconstruct 15 iPhone models from 2012 to 2018's iPhone XS at a rate of 200 phones an hour. Good God. So it's trying to basically reuse parts, mm -hmm. consolidate. You know, this article is really talking about e-waste and there's right. a lot of tech waste. I could, oh, that's and totally like, how many phones have you had since yeah. they came out? And how many phones do you get? You get one a year sometimes, yeah. two. And what happens? What happens? You throw it in a drawer, or where does it go? A landfill? Right. They said that the amount of, of waste that just Apple alone creates. Look at this. Um, in 2016, the world created 44.7 million metric tons of e-waste. Oh, my God. That's 2.1 million Statues of Liberties. Stacked together. Oh, that's really a lot. Up. <laughs> that's disturbing. It's a lot of plastic and microchips and everything, glass, like all yeah. that. Whatever makeup makes up a, a phone. I don't like so that basically, Statue of Liberty comparison. That's freaky. It's, it's pretty crazy, right? And that is just twenty percent of that is eight point nine million metric tons was recycled. So not Ooh. even like twenty percent of that. <laughs> so they're they're creating this robot. And they're trying to tell, um, like, teach other people. They're inviting other companies, cell phone companies, product companies, to do this to their phones, too, and do this to their e-devices instead of shredding them because then it becomes just waste, mm -hmm. you know? So if you can repurpose a phone, resell it, yeah, you know, it, they we're talking about normally, you know, you just throw a computer, a phone, it goes in the shredder, and then that becomes waste but right. they're trying to avoid that completely by completely taking apart the phone and maybe reusing screws and other stuff mm -hmm. which is cool like it's crazy that they can take 200 apart i mean it's good they invested in this because this they're is like... they're trying to i mean they, i guess they've tried to do this the this is the one uh the predecessor liam was this other robot there's something Jason likes to do on this show. I like talking about robots. <laughs> let's bring in re robots with names. They have names. And personalities. This that is freak funny. Me out. This Kyle Weens guy <laughs> called Daisy. I call her Daisy, the death bot. See? It's always a, it always comes it's back great. to something scary, man. It you doesn't... can see Daisy's Apple's attempt <laughs> to right some of these wrongs. But if you squint, you may look the wrong way. Daisy might look like an expensive, cynical PR ploy by one of the world's richest companies to whitewash the damage... It's also doing the planet. Yeah. <laughs> Through its massive size. That's it's, it's a giant company. Yeah. And you have these this amount of e waste that's I knew there was a catch, man. There's a real catch. It's kinda crazy to think about, like. But they're being the first company to say we're gonna try and teach other companies to do this too. So Yeah, it's like a net positive, right? It's a net positive. And it's, you know, recycling, Earth yeah. Earth Day kind Earth. of Daisy the Earth Day bot. Daisy the Earth Day bot, <laughs> trying to help out, you know. All told, of the roughly nine million iPhone Apple iPhones Apple received back from customers last year, seven point eight million were refurbished and sent to new users, while one point two were sent back to Daisy. That's not bad numbers. No. As far as which ones that Apple got back. Right, you but know? you have to think of all the other phone companies out there. Mm-hmm. You know, this. It's Apple's true. not the only one. People have Androids and yeah. everything else. Come on, Samsung. <laughs> get your new, da get your own Daisy. What's in right? it for them? You think it's a PR ploy? To... I know it's partly a PR ploy. But that's a lot of waste. Samsung, the world's largest phone maker, says it's recovered 
28.3 million metric tons of its product, including TVs and refrigerators, mm. to be refurbished or recycled. It's also pledged to create a close-loop recycling program similar to Apple's efforts. So they want to try right. and do it, too. You know. I want to find that. I'm just trying to think of the catch. There's always a catch, but I don't know. This is Most of all, this is good. It's the batteries that are the real... Yeah, I mean, they got, you know, but if you could reuse it in another phone. Right. You know, usually the batteries are the first things to go, though. Yeah. Like screens and batteries. But screens are like the least damaging thing. Least damaging uh, at this point. They kind of perfected that. I mean, Mm -hmm. my first few iPhones, I would go through a screen. Yeah. All the time. Yeah. (laughs) I would drop it. You Mm -hmm. know, we've definitely changed our, you know, how people are. habits. Yeah. Habits around cell phones. Yeah. For Ooh. sure. I think one year I went through three because I could break it. I was like, oh, I'm <laughs> All right, I'll buy another one. I mean, mine's got no case, no screen yeah, protector. You're dr- oh, and I'm like, I feel I, naked. I man. can't do that. I, every time I touch it, I'm like, I can't even. Yeah, no. You're like, oh. It's like Indiana Jones. You, you got know? some. Oh, I can't do that, man. Okay, so it's a 9,000 square foot warehouse where they've created this robot. And then it's, here's the images of it. So far, it's just a, Daisy in there? Just Daisy. Yeah, I think it, it can show you. There's a video, too. Here's the facility. I did have a video, too, though. Here it is. Nice. Look at all that crap. <laughs> it's so much crap. <laughs> it's just, like, wires and whatever. I'm so curious how this thing, like, meticulously disassembles, you know? It's cool that it knows how to, though. I think it's amazing. Pretty cool. That is fucking... I don't even know how to open an iPhone. <laughs> yeah. When you break this down, it's actually really nuts. Yeah, it's cool. Like, the intelligence of this thing. They want to help, but it could be a ploy, Joe. There's always something in it for somebody, and that's fine. You know, there has to be incentive. But yeah. I think it's good that they put anything into this. Yeah, it's, I think it's interesting, you know. And they're inviting all the other companies to see how it's done, too. Right. I mean, that's in the article, too. Like, they're saying, hey, this is... We made this... Mm-hmm. Hey, it's actually working. How condescending is that if you're Samsung? That you go like, there? Oh, we have 15 models we yeah. can do. Yeah. <laughs> and you're like, we can make our own robot. Thanks, Apple. <laughs> we know we'll how to make... will be just fine. But you can, you know, normally it's a shredder. Like, if you've seen shredder videos... Here, like, this is basically how you, like, destroy shit. Oh, I love this shit. <laughs> These are monitors and TV. It's just like, oh, yeah, this is normally how you get rid of waste. Right. So if you can physically take it apart and then reuse some of it, yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, that's smarter than this. <laughs> Wait, because I'm just creating piles of landfill, right? Right. That's actually like kind of dumb. Piles of landfill <laughs> of like all this shit, old computers and. Now you just have smaller versions of, of the all shit the you same already shit you can't <laughs> <laughs> They know people go through phones like crazy. Right. You know. Yeah. I definitely get a phone like every year usually. I mean, yeah. This is the first year I haven't, but. It's almost like they had to be like, look. Well, they did talk about that in the article. A lot of the time people are like, you know, it's like a software update or something happens where your phone's not working anymore. Like definitely if you have a three-year-old one, it's not going to work anymore. I've definitely run into that problem. Yes, me too. Like, oh, I did the update and my phone doesn't work now. This is what they're <laughs> counteracting. I think remember so. the remember that news a while ago where it was like Apple does make your phone obsolete. Yes, that's very true. They're they're countering that. That's part of this. I bet you probably is because they're probably way. getting a lot of flack from that. Right. They were getting a lot of shit about that. I they still are. I think. Yeah. All right. Well, that's my tech. That's cool, man. <laughs> hey, Earth Week uh, celebration. Hey, you know Earth Week. <laughs> Earth, Earth Day. We're shooting this on Earth Day. Right. Or as my girlfriend's fond of saying, every day's Earth Day. So thank you, Apple. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Daisy. Thank you, Daisy. <laughs> Daisy the Death Bot. Yeah, thank you, Daisy. Coming the to a theater near you. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of like Wally, right? That's kind of like Wally, yeah. It's going to take a while, but it also takes a ton of innovation. Yeah. So, uh, Apple is one of the top world's makers at shipping and updated. 218 million iPhones last year alone. Sometime this year, it may pass 1.5 billion iPhones since the first one debuted. Meaning, a little over a decade, Apple's shipped enough phones to circle the planet more than 13 times. 
I don't like these comparisons are killing me, man. <laughs> it's so sad. It's kind of sad. <laughs> but look at what's in here, man. This is what's in there. Copper, cobalt, aluminum, glass, gold, lithium, paper, plastic, steel, titanium, tin, tungsten, zinc, all that raw materials are in an iPhone. Yeah. And if you can reuse that in any way. Yeah. I mean, half that shit I haven't heard of. Tantalum? I don't know what tantalum is. <laughs> but sounds... I know what tin and zinc are. <laughs> yeah, no, actually, I know what everything but tantalum is. <laughs> well, this is a good path to be on if, we have, if we're doing this anyway, you know? Yeah. Are we out of articles? I think that's it, man. We, uh, yeah, four articles. Cool. Well, good. I hope you enjoyed episode four, guys. Be back for episode five next week. Uh, in the meantime, follow our Instagram, please. We need it. Check out our SoundCloud. And, Check out uh, our YouTube. And YouTube. Yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks. See you next time.